A new Wordle puzzle is online. Click on the link to play. Listening to the following video may give you clues. Please like and share the videos. Will Ferrari pay the price for F1 gamble? Daniel Ricciardo rebounds from his Emilia Romagna crash to take second place in the Italian Grand Prix. The Brazilian had a disastrous race in Tamburello, but is now back to form thanks to a recent surge in form. Will Ferrari pay the price for its phone gamble or will Rick Ciardo continue to make waves? This article will discuss the latest phone news and what we can expect from the drivers of the team. Leclerc's car crashed into a wall in Tamburello. Charles Leclerc made a spectacular start to the race and passed Polisitter Max Verstappen, who had been defending the lead. Norris and Perez followed in third and fourth. A caution for the Chinese driver, Xu Ganyu, was called during the race after his car spun off and hit a wall. He escaped injury, but his car was punctured. The safety car intervention was called to clear the debris, while Ricciardo shook his head and walked away in sixth. Red Bull Racing showed their dominance in the second half of the race, and it's clear they are capable of claiming a second championship. Perez's car held off Leclerc's Ferrari, and both Red Bull cars showed a huge advantage in straight-line power. Because the race control disabled DRS for Ferrari's car, they struggled to pass Leclerc's car. In the other race, Sebastian Vettel took the lead for Renault and finished P2, but the team had to settle for a fourth place as the French driver lost a side pod after the start. Wixierdo inherited a 12 position, while Leclerc ended up pay, and Ferrari paid the price for their gamble if pace of the phone season continues at breakneck speed, with the Australian Grand Prix next on September 25. The race in Australia has been hit by the COVID-19 crisis. Further, the FIA has confirmed that the Russian Grand Prix will be cancelled. If you're in the United States, make sure to tune in McLaren have made smart moves this year to bolster their phone car and keep the championship within reach. The team made the decision to switch to Mercedes engines this season and appointed Andreas Seidel as team principal, and Ricciardo's car reacted well to the changes. Verstappen's win at Emilia-Romagna. Max Verstappen's dominance at Emilia Romagna gave Red Bull their first phone victory since Malaysia, and ensured they finished on the podium for the first time this season. Verstappen had a perfect start but could not make any progress, but in the final laps he passed Ferrari's championship leader, Charles Leclerc, to take victory in Italy. McLaren Sergio Perez finished second ahead of Ferrari's Carlos Sainz, and the last podium finisher was the Renault of Landorland Norris. The victory came despite the rainy conditions. At the start, the weather in Imola was spectacular, but the clouds rolled in and washed away the sunshine. The cars were still cooled down for the laps to greed, but the risk of rain was present. Leclerc, who started from pole position, lost the lead and crashed out on the opening lap. Despite the huge gaps in the Constructors' and Drivers' Championship standings, Red Bull has the upper hand in Imola. In the past, Mercedes has finished third in Imola, second in Melbourne, and fourth in China. The team is now hoping to finish higher in Imola than they did in the last two races. Max Verstappen's dominant performance in the first two rounds of the season made him a plus-130 point favorite for Sunday's race in Emilia-Romagna. Verstappen, the Dutchman, finished second last year and is currently the odds-on favorite for the 2021 Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix. However, Ferraris win comes at the cost of paying for their phone gamble after two retirements in the previous race while Charles Leclerc was crestfallen following the race, the defending champion, Lewis Hamilton, was ecstatic. The two had a close battle in the final stages, but Leclerc lacked the pace to challenge, and the soft tires had favored him to attack, but he was too far behind Verstappen to make it count. Daniel Ricciardo's recent search while most Formula One fans will agree that Sebastian Vettel and Lewis Hamilton are the best in the world, Rick Ciardo is struggling with Renault's reliability and performance. The Australian had won seven Grand Prix in eight years at Red Bull and Toro Rosso, but has yet to win a race with Renault. The Australian has two podium finishes in the past three races and is in a good position to catch up to them if he keeps up his recent performance. The incoming budget cap will provide a good opportunity to break the status quo.
Renault has no clear number one contender and Rick Cerdo's recent surge after Ferrari's phone gamble suggests that the team is not a works team. However, Abitaboul has hinted before that Renault is not a works team, so Ricciardo is not obligated to stay. With both Vettel and Max Verstappen struggling in Australia, Ricciardo has had to step up his performance. Vettel's recent surge after Ferrari's phone gamble has been a good sign for the team, but the team must also improve its performance in the Italian Pomolorin has made great progress following a lackluster start to the season, with Lando Norris and Daniel Ricciardo leading the team home in fifth and sixth. While Daniel Ricciardo is known for his recent surge after Ferrari's F1 gamble, he has more than just a Formula One career. Ricciardo grew up in Texas and discovered country music in the southwestern U.S. Before turning pro, and after a stint in Formula One, Rick Ciardo has finished in the top ten of a race on multiple occasions. Amid the turmoil of his F1 debut, Ricciardo has become a household name in Australia. After his safety car crash in Belgium, he has made a name for himself. He has made Ferrari's recent phone gamble pay off, and he may well be one of the top drivers in the world in the next few years. McLaurin's position in the picking order. The results in Bahrain were a mixed bag for McLaren, who finished third behind Mercedes, Aston Martin and Williams. Daniel Ricciardo was one minute and six seconds behind Lewis Hamilton and Lando Norris. The Australian driver is now with Alpine. The team had gambled on medium tires, which didn't suit the McLaren drivers, and they had to settle for 18th place. The recent rule changes are a chance for teams to reset their pecking order. New, racier cars will give the top teams a chance to either sink or swim. Given the current situation, McLaren is well positioned to take advantage of the change. Its technical director James Key is the best in the business. It also has two top drivers. Daniel Ricciardo's performance in the MCL 35M has been mixed this season, with the Australian struggling with the car. However, the Argentinian's performance and reliability were excellent in the Toro Rosso car and in qualifying at Monza. Rick Ciardo managed to hold off Red Bull, maintaining McLaren's own minus to finish. However, the Australian's position in the pecking order is still good, and McLaren has some great prospects. A good start for the team comes at the right time. After a purse start in Monaco, McLaren had a good weekend at Monza. But after the race, they were down three points to Ferrari, and it's not easy to catch up. The team now needs to win the next three races and secure third place. And that means that they'll have to win some major races in the next few weeks. The new regulations introduced in 2020 will ensure a level playing field with fewer top drivers in the sport. The fuel level will be introduced, making it easier for drivers to race the full distance without having to worry about running out.